Here you're asked to calculate the entropy change for this reaction. Calculate the change for 1 mole and 2.45 moles of ammonium nitrate. First you need to look up the uh, entropy values for each compound in their standard state. I want to point out the units for the entropy. Joules, not kilojoules, very important you notice that. Joules per Kelvin mole. Now the, the denominator is Kelvin mole, the units of Kelvin and mole collectively in the denominator. So let's take a look at what the setup is. We're going to use the equation S reaction equals S products minus S reactants. We have one mole of N2O, so I, have, I put a 1 in front of the 219, and I put a 2 in front of the 69.9 because there's two moles of water in the equation as given. Subtract the one mole of ammonium nitrate, so 1 times 259.8. The next line, I deliberately included the units to show you how the mole unit cancels out because remember, you're given these S values, these entropy values, in the units of joule per kelvin mole. That mole unit needs to cancel out. So it cancels out by when you multiply the number of moles from the equation. So first we look at ammonium nitrate. One mole of ammonium nitrate times the 219.9. Notice the moles cancel. Next two moles of water, the moles cancel. And then finally the one mole of ammonium nitrate to give you a, a total of 99.9 .9 joule per kelvin. Notice the mole unit has disappeared. Now that's per the reaction as given. So 99.9 .9 joule per kelvin for one mole of ammonium nitrate, for one mole of dinitrogen oxide, and two moles of water. The next part of it asks to determine the S reaction for the entropy change for the reaction for 2.45 moles of ammonium nitrate. What we're going to do here is utilize the value we calculated earlier, the 99.9. .9. Now that value is 99.9 .9 joules per kelvin for one mole of ammonium nitrate. Well now we're talking about 2.45 moles. So we could use that previous answer effectively as a conversion factor. So if we look at this in terms of dimensional analysis, we start with the 2.45 moles of ammonium nitrate that we're given, and we multiply that by the 99.9 .9 joule per Kelvin, and now that's per one mole of ammonium nitrate. So the mole units cancel, and you're left with 245 joule per Kelvin as your answer. Same task of calculating S for the reaction. Here we have one mole of CH4, two moles of oxygen, one mole of CO2, two moles of water. I want to point out the state of water in this reaction is in the gaseous state. In the previous problem, it was in the liquid state. So the S for the water is going to be different. And rightfully so, it's larger because now we have water in the gaseous state. There's more motion. So the entropy is going to be larger uh, for water in the gaseous state than it would be in the liquid state, which was in the previous problem. If we follow the same uh, equation, and we substitute the values in, again paying attention to the mole values from the equation as we connect them to the um, actual one mole, two moles, one mole, and two moles coming from the stoichiometry of the equation. And the unit of moles cancel out. You end up with negative 5.2 joules per Kelvin per reaction equation. So this value is for one mole of methane, two moles of oxygen, one mole of CO2, and two moles of water. Then we're asked to determine the entropy for the reaction when 1.72 moles of methane or CH4 react. We could use this value of negative 5.2 as a conversion factor and we end up with negative 8.94 as our answer.